Hi everyone, welcome to the Premsoft Technical Channel. Today we are going to start about the list in Python. So many of you have requested me for the list in Python video. So I'm just making this video for you people. So you all aware of the basic of the Python. So just we'll start with the list concept. Now first of all sir, what is exactly this list is? Whenever you want to store the individual object as a single entity, then we will go with the concept of list. Sir, what is the meaning of this one? So for example, you are having certain elements called like 10, 20, 30, 40, some elements you are having, not only numbers, whether you are having some names, whether you are having some float value or some different different values you are having, you want to like this bunch of value, you want to put it together into one variable. So we'll go with the concept of what list. So what is this exactly list? Here the insertion order will be preserved and duplicates will be not uh, duplicates will be allowed into this one. Sir, what exactly the list and how we will work with the list? Just we will see with the one by one points. So first of all, in the list elements will be placed within the square bracket and with comma separated. Nothing but suppose I'm creating a list name like L. How we create like variables? Similarly, we can create list is equals to list will be enclosed within the square bracket. Now I'm having the multiple elements. I can write 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, any number of variables we can add here. So this is nothing but point number one in the list element will be placed within the square bracket. So square bracket is mandatory over here. That thing one you have to remember and every element with clo uh, separate with a comma. So that is the point number one. So point number two is what insertion order is preserved. What is the meaning of this one? When we insert some element into our list so that order will be preserved. Nothing but whatever order we give, it will store the element in the similar order. The point number three duplicates objects are allowed means if I wanted to add here 10 comma 10, is it possible? Absolutely fine. Then it is dynamic in nature because based on our requirement, we can increase or decrease the size. Suppose my I am adding the three element right now. I know the only three elements I have added. After few minutes of time, I wanted to just decrease the size. Nothing but I want to delete one element or I want to add the element. Can I add? Obviously means in the list, it will allow you to increase or decrease the element of a list. Then heterogeneous objects are allowed. Nothing but whatever the heterogeneous element you will insert, that is also it will accept. We'll see with the practical examples. We can differentiate duplicate element by using index. Now suppose example you are having 10 and 10, two different elements are there. So how will I know how many uh, like okay, I can different which one is first and which one is uh, last one by using the index position we can see this one. And uh, next is it support both positive and negative indexing. Nothing but either I can retrieve the data in forward direction or in the backward direction both is possible. And list is mutable. This is very important feature of the list. We can change the list content. That is nothing but what mutable of a list. Now the very important thing we are going to start with the practical. This all the points we are we will discuss with a practical example. So let us start with the. I will just open here the notepad because I you want to create a list. So I will write L is equals to in double quotes. Guys, many uh, people directly use the Python. So I will show the example both on Python. Either you can work directly on the IDE or in the notepad. I will show the both the ways. So I'm working with the IDE. How to work? I'm writing the element here 10, 20, 30, 40. Nothing but I created a list with the four elements and then I'm using the print and I'm printing the L value. So I want to check what is the type of L. So how to check type of L I will type Okay, now save this program. So I will save this program in the D drive itself. I will just go to D drive. I will store here list one dot py. My name you have to remember list one dot py. Go to the command prompt. D colon. You are in, you are going into your folder. Then cd space. Sorry, no need to give the cd directly py space list one dot py and enter. So your elements as it is you are how you are entering similarly you are getting and type of 
your list uh, what is the type it is showing list so nothing but what you are doing here your first program first thing you are storing into the square bracket next insertion order is preserved now i give the 10 20 30 40 and similarly you are getting the outputs observe here output also same sir if i change the output what will happen suppose i am giving 100 20 30 40 so will it give the same input oh sorry same output or not just check it yes absolutely fine so means what insertion order is preserved whatever order you are giving same order it is printing sir duplicates objects are allowed it will allow a duplicate or not sir yes it will allow the duplicate sir. so what i will do is now i will work on the python my uh, many uh, students will practice directly on the python so here also i will show you i can close in the square bracket both ways i am showing guys uh, like 10 I am taking, 20 I am taking, 30 I am taking, 10, 20, 30 and 40, Wait, whatever the variable, no problem. I am printing the L, I am getting values. Sir, will it allow the duplicates? So let's see, I am giving 10, 20, 2, 2 times 10, 22 times. Will it allow me? Yes, absolutely fine. So both it is allowing the duplicate variable also, it is allowing. So that is nothing but what point number three dynamic in nature so how to delete the element and how to add the element that we are going to see in the uh, like in the further program just we'll cover the basic points here and then i will show you all the list concept i am going to cover each and every points uh, indexing and all this all the concept we are going to cover now see here sir i want to access the indexing sir first element i want to see so l of zero when i enter i am getting 10 nothing but index will start from 0 guys index will start from what 0 so l of 0 value is what 10 so what is l of 1 value l of 1 value observe very carefully 20 you are getting now sir i want to, to print l of 5 what is the l of 5 20 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so like this you are accessing what a, this value of this particular list sir next is what negative indexing just now we have seen it will print the value in the negative indexing also in our point it is mentioned that positive and negative both so negative indexing always will start with minus one so minus one will from the left side so minus one will what l of minus one when i will write it will give me the first value this is minus one this is minus two this is minus three and so on so just let's try with minus three so which is minus 3 guys 1 2 3 so you will get what 40 on the screen just observe yes so like this you can get any value let us type minus 5 so whatever the value you are getting so what what did we cover here how to create a list how to insert the element how to check the duplicates value after that we can differentiate duplicate element by using index just now we have seen when I give the index, it was giving the values. Similarly, how to give the positive and negative value. So like this, just we have created the basic element of list. So more videos, uh, in the next videos, I am going to give you the how to add the heterogeneous element and how to differentiate like different indexing, how to print the values from 1 to 5, 5 to 1, different, different, all the types we will cover. Even how to uh, ch uh, change the content of the list, that is also we are going to discuss in the next video so thank you for watching this video guys if you like please subscribe my channel